Hello. So uh, I'm back with a different video, a very different video this time. Today we're brewing a cup of coffee from Alo Coffee Roasters in uh, Katipunan. Uh, for a little bit of context, I've been into coffee for quite a while now and recently I got exposed to specialty coffee and that really urged me to up my game in terms of uh, brewing coffee at home. I'm practicing the routine of doing a pour over and this is actually my second cup of uh, actually doing it and uh, practicing brew methods from other uh, coffee people, mas credible uh, coffee people because I myself am not a professional at all. Basically at this stage right now I don't know what I'm doing but uh, relying on uh, stuff that others did and basing off of that. So let's start with uh, the beans again. It's called uh, Mount Apo Arabica from Alo Coffee Roasters. Tapos yung grinder na gamit ko is a time or C2. So I grounded it up around the uh, medium to medium course, I guess. It's around 21 clicks on the C2. Tapos uh, the brewer I'm using is a V60. It's a one cup V60. And the method or the, the process or the routine, I guess, kung yun ba yung tawag dun, is uh, the 4-6 method by uh, Tetsu Kasuya. Kung yung gear, uh, yun lang yung gamit ko. And uh, I'm using uh, like uh, a kitchen kettle. <laughs> uh, tapos uh, I'm using a, a teapot as my pouring kettle. Right now, uh, I'm using water na bin pinapakulo ko. Literally, pinapakulo ko siya hanggang sa boiling point niya talaga. As in, violently boiling. Tapos, uh, I transfer it to the teapot. Tapos, I wait a couple of minutes to cool it down. Kasi, uh, my friend recommended na ibro ko daw yung coffee at a lower temp. Other than boiling. Kasi, the roast of the Mount Apo Arabica is around medium, medium dark. So, kung tama yung pagkakaintindi ko, the darker the roast is, lalo na for pourovers, you go for colder temps sa uh, water for you to extract less of the bad stuff. Hindi ko pa naiintindihan masyado kung ano yung bad stuff na yun. But anyway, ayun. So, uh, I'm brewing uh, 15 grams of coffee for, uh, to for a total output yield of 300 grams. Tapos, ayun, yung process ko or the recipe starts off with the bloom. Uh, it's ayun, 60 grams of water plus uh, for 45 seconds or until 45 seconds. Tapos, after that, uh, I let it draw down a little bit hanggang sa medyo matuyo yung bed. And then, uh, my first pour is another 60 grams. So, that totals up to 120 grams. And, uh gonna be draw down uh, or I, I let it draw down until a minute 30 tapos uh, with that I agitate a little bit of the brewer uh, agitate the brewer a little bit para uh, makuha nyo lahat ng grimes na nasa walls or kung may dahil yung gamit ko ng teapot it's not really consistent with pouring so uh, I need to play around it a little bit para makuha nyo lahat ng grounds. Tapos, uh, again, I let it draw down. Tapos, uh, my second pour is another 90 grams. Uh, a 90 grams uh, up until around 2 minute 30 mark. Tapos, with that, uh, inahayaan ko lang siya hanggang sa mag-draw down siya a little bit. Then, uh, around 3 minutes, uh, then I, I do the last pour, which is my third pour for another 90 grams uh, tapos nag-draw down siya completely at around 3 minutes 30 Ayan. so uh, the bloom phase and uh, the first pour is the 40% of the total weight ng uh, kape and then the last two 90 gram pours is the 60% so that totals up around 300 grams tapos yun lang siya, I let it draw down a little bit tapos after uh, the whole thing uh, ayun, I take notes kung ano man yung ginawa ko and then, uh, inaantay ko lang siyang bumaba completely tapos, idedecant ko lang ng kaunti yung nabrook kong coffee that's basically it <clears throat> so 
So, pwede akong magkwento dito. As I said earlier, I got introduced to specialty coffee not too long ago. I kind of knew that uh, coffee is this vast world of flavors and hindi lang siya nasasara like sa mas mapait, mas mapait, mas matapang. Being introduced to specialty coffee opened up a whole new world for me. And it's very interesting how passionate the people behind the scene of coffee is. And it's really interesting to see how they see the world or they see this very simple drink. So, ayun, sobrang na-enjoy ko yun. And the whole process of it, dami-dami, saan dami, dami, dami ako sa buong mundo. There's just something about me enjoying processes of things and seeing how things work and seeing how vastly different the flavors are between those processes. I want to share the, the notes I had with these or with this cup. Uh, first of all, the aroma is very light, uh, medyo woody, parang, uh, parang basang popsicle stick. Tapos, medyo savory siya, if you can get the sense of it. The acidity, acidity niya is uh, very much dried fruits, parang apricot nga eh. Uh, I don't know if you can recall or uh, people can understand the dried apricot taste na yung eh, parang nasa maliliit na sachet before. Uh, this was early 2000s, late 90s thing. I don't know if papasok siya din. But anyway, lasa din siya, uh, yung acidity niya is parang nandun siya sa dulo eh. Hindi siya very acidity forward the drink or na flavor. Tapos, ang forward niya is your sweetness. Uh, it's, it's a very sweet coffee. Very nutty, very toasty. Uh, malapit siya yung lasa niya sa caramel. And, uh, dun ko siya mas na-associate. Tapos, yung body ng kape is very uh, robust, very heavy, very bold. Medyo nananapak yung sweetness niya. Or, more like in your face kind of sweetness pero hindi makapal yung mismong pakiramdam niya sa bibig masaya siyang inumin lalo na if uh, you're planning to do it on ice kasi nadadial down niya yung pagiging in your face ng sweetness niya and mas lumilitaw yung acidity so mas lumalabas yung medyo fruity notes niya uh, tapos meron siyang uh, finish na lingering uh, so after mo inumin meron siyang pakiramdam na parang Nandun pa rin siya, medyo toffee, caramel kind of flavors. Tapos pagka nag-exhale ka sa ilong or nag-inhale ka, malalasawa pa rin siya. Here's the bed, uh, as you can see, uh, big chunks on top, uh, I don't know kung big chunks nga ba yun, I, I, I didn't really check, pero most probably hindi siya ganun kalaki, hindi siya French press level of uh, course, but then, so titignan natin.
ayun, this is my second cup and uh, it's very interesting it's very complex so uh, let's see where this goes with my next cups so yeah thank you <laughs>